Hello, my name is Yue Feng. I'm going to talk about TF.Distribute, TensorFlow's distributed training library. TF.Distribute requires minimal code changes to scale up your training. It allows a unified workflow across different hardware, different training architectures with great out-of-box performance. We released this library in 2018 with Mirror Strategy, which provides multi-GPU synchronous training. It does data parallel training as it replicates model variables and computations on all the GPUs. All GPUs run in lockstep and use all reduced to aggregate gradients. Multi-worker mirrored strategy is similar to mirrored strategy, but it supports synchronous training on GPUs on multiple hosts. We have also developed a TPU strategy. It supports synchronous training on TPU chips. It has been a couple of years since our first release. We are still actively working on it. The next strategy I'm going to introduce is parameter server strategy. It supports parameter server training, which is a common data parallel method for asynchronous training. When do we use parameter server strategy? It has its own use cases. If you want asynchronous training to get a larger training throughput, or if your model has large embeddings, or if your workers can be frequently preempted, you should consider using parameter server strategy. So what is parameter server training? In this approach, variables are stored on dedicated servers called parameter servers shared by all training workers. Most of the computation happens on these workers. In each training step, workers pull the latest variable values from primary servers run forward backward paths with their own training data, then send back gradients to primary servers. Each worker completes a training step on their own. They update the variables on parameter servers independently. This is why we call it asynchronous training. It is scalable and can tolerate worker failure. In TensorFlow 2, we've adopted a very different approach to implement parameter server training. We call it single client setup. In this setup, the user program will run on the coordinator. Workers and the primary servers run a standard TensorFlow server which passively executes requests dispatched from the coordinator. We have also developed a set of new APIs to support this setup. Let's see how we can use parameter server strategy with customer training loop. This is a customer training loop with mirror strategy. We create a model and optimizer under strategy.scope. We create a dataset a training step wrapped into a TF function and the training loop. To switch it to parameter server strategy, we need to make some changes. We create a parameter server strategy and a cluster coordinator with a strategy object. Similarly, we created a model and an optimizer on the strategy.scope. We create a dataset using the coordinators create per worker dataset method. We still have the step function wrapped into a TF function, but we use coordinator.schedule to dispatch this function from the coordinator to workers. The last part is to do coordinator.join, which waits until all scheduled functions are executed. Primary server strategy has also integrated with Keras model.fit. This is how we use mirror strategy with Keras model.fit. To use it with parameter server strategy, you just need to replace mirror strategy with parameter server strategy. The rest is exactly the same. Here are some resources for TF.distribute and the parameter server training. We have also provided guides and tutorials on how to migrate from SMET and TPU SMET to TF.distribute. Thank you. Mm -hmm.